Hello and welcome back to the Three Blind Mice Media Channel where you join us today at Brands Hatch on a Monday morning. Worst places to be. Uh, we're here today with a guy called Steve Deeks. Now we're going to show you who Steve is, we're going to go through everything, but basically the premise is we are here this week from Monday all the way through till Saturday when Steve will be taking part in a race. We're here to document his process. He's got a lovely orange classic 911 and he's going to show us how he gets his testing done on a Monday, his processes as a driver, he's a qualified racing driver, and we're going to see how he does this weekend and show him, well, show you guys what he's all about. Let's go have a look. So Steve, here we finally are on the Monday testing session. So, what's up today? What's on your hit list? What have you got to get done? What are the checks you're running? Ben, actually after seven years that this project has been in the making. Yeah. Seven years? Seven years, honestly. The car has never, in all the time that I've been working with it, until today, even run this well. So actually the first thing is just to make sure that everything works as it should be. Yeah. Uh, gearbox engine, installation. Yeah. So you'll see us go out, we'll be straight back in just to make sure there's nothing leaking, nothing yeah. falling off the car. The boys are already finding bits and pieces even before we go out, they yeah. need to tighten them down. Um, but realistically, when you start from the state that this car was in, uh, and I, I'm sad to say, actually even after it had been built by the first guy who tried to build it, and, yeah, then, yeah. and then the second guy, uh, he did his best, but the reality is that was probably the first three, four years of the car's life, and then yeah. the pandemic came along, which put a stop to everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, but fortunately, now I'm working with classic performance engineering you know what doing. and Tech Nine yeah. from an engine point of view. So between those two guys, we're with people who really know their business and they're passionate and they're committed. So it clearly means a lot to you. Like this has been a long time coming. Oh this journey God. to get this here and ben, to I should make it work. Do you know the, the mad thing about this is common sense would have said I'd put it down a long time ago because this yeah, you're is basically. Calm, I can't let that happen. Well, teach, you know? well it, it's it's fundamentally it sucked in all the money I've earned for the last seven years. All the spare cash that I earned during that period gone into the car and yeah. more. I'll be just at the, in the first instance just happy to get to going around with all the gears working, the engine pulling through the rev band. Yeah brakes coming in, if the thing's balanced, brakes on a straight line, um, the gears engage nicely for the start, that's that's the datum yeah, point, yeah. and from that point onwards, we start moving forward. Fantastic. Excellent, right, let's bag it out there.
So Steve, we've got 12.30, we've just had our first morning session. Yeah. Thoughts, how was it? Ben, tonight it was uh, amazing, yep. I'd say, um, scary. <laughs> well, we looked at the GoPro footage, and when you came round the bottom of here, we saw a bit uh, of that. It's probably a fairly major yeah. major <laughs> slide. Yeah, I mean, it, this is the thing. It's like, my God, we built it from yeah. scratch upwards. Yeah, yeah. And there's so many new elements to it, particularly the suspension, which I, you know, and, and really, even the tyres, which are, which are, although they're new, they're old, because I bought them before the pandemic. Yeah, yeah. So they've been sitting around for a while. But they, they were a guess. You know, it's a, a, yeah, the great yeah, thing yeah. about this, or the exciting thing about it, is it's not like a one-make formula where everybody's running the same car. We're yeah, all running yeah, different yeah, yeah. sports cars, um, and so for us, it's it's all trial and error. How much you nail your own package? Yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. At the moment, I'm nailing my package to the wall, <laughs> uh, and, it, and it's marginally terrifying, yeah. um, but but in, in an exciting way. But there's some elements of it already which are a thousand percent better than I've ever seen before, like the the engine. Yeah. Phil Hindley and Tech Nine have built me a phenomenal engine. Yeah. Um, it, it, you know, no complaints there. There's plenty of torque. It sounds fantastic. It's it running cool. Um, gear change is good. Um, brakes. Uh, I've got some pads to test for EBC, okay. and I'm looking forward to get my hands on those because these ones are the ones that were in the last time we used it, which I guess is now three or four or five years ago. Yeah. Um, so the brakes are not not optimal at the moment. So we need to get the EBCs in and find out get a set that works so yeah. I'll get a lot more confidence from that but uh, at the minute what the car's doing is it's it's, it's actually um, somewhat ridiculous because it's just trying to break into an oversteer so yeah. even if I look at a corner it starts to oversteer yeah, oh my god yeah so it's like a top so I have to get straight back on the gas which means I can't carry speed in at the minute I'm basically slowing it down getting it turned and coming straight back on the gas yeah. which what I need to be able to do is carry speed into the corner yeah, yeah, and have it rotate in a more controllable manner. That's uh, why we're here while we're right now. Yeah, yeah, and it's like, you know, at the end of the day, look at it. It's yeah, there's, there's it, worse you know, ways to spend your Monday. Mate, isn't there? we're in Brands Hatch Grand Prix, so okay. Mega. You know, it's just the day after the British Grand Prix. It's a sunny day, yeah. and honestly. Can't beat it. No, it's like, you know, we're lucky. Yeah, absolutely. It's, well. it's, it's, it's a lovely place to be with all the heritage in the world. Um, I just need to get the damn thing going quicker. Okay. Let's do it. Fantastic. Catch you in a bit. Steve's just come. <laughs> Steve's just come back into his uh, into the garage. Because again, you've got to remember, we're testing the car today, so it's going out, getting, building up the speed, learning what's new on the car that you've had done, building the speed, and then realizing what needs changing. You know, the brakes might need a little bit of adjusting and bits and bobs. One thing that I didn't realize, which I've, which was pretty amazing, we were just in here having lunch. And the guy that's working with Steve said a good way to test the brakes is literally just to stamp on them and see if they lock up. How, terri wow. how terrifying is that? I did not know that. You've, like, as a way to test brakes. Yeah. Definitely out right now. Yeah, they've jacked it up. What also doesn't come across on camera is that Professional racing drivers can feel everything. You know. So Steve, just come back in and the boys are changing the dampers all the way around. Why is that? What have you felt in the car? Well, Ben, I, had a, I, I was gaining confidence in that. We, we raised the ride height at the front and that actually helped to settle the rear down. But then we went too far in that direction and uh, had a massive spin at, yeah. um, at Paddock, which is a fast corner. I managed to keep it out of the gravel. Yeah. But um, definitely, is because we don't know the dampers yet, we need to go the full range of them to fully understand what it's capable of. I mean, they feel really high quality. There's a big range of adjustment there available, but it's important that we, we, we test what effect it makes on the car. It might be terrible, but it might be all of a sudden you might hit the sweet spot. At least you know. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And is it just, just dampers? What else have you been changing across the car at the moment? Dampers, ride height, and at some point what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the other tyres. They're a different profile yeah. and a different make 
Right, okay. Because you, you've always got a problem. Bear in mind that these tyres, although they're relatively new, are just flat spotted them, so they're much less new now. Yeah, yeah. But, um, but they were bought before the start of the pandemic. Right, okay, so, so the rubber's you, aged. Yeah, logically. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. How much of a difference do you do tyres really make? Because obviously you massive, have, massive, massive. You know, because for the, the thing is, tyres can go off, that's possible. Um, yeah. but, but also, the other one's a different profile, different compound. And some tyres just suit the particular car better. Yeah, yeah. So I think the next thing we'll do is try that. Yeah. Um, because always the difficulty with testing is that you want to press on. The thing is, you think you're not driving very hard until you spin, and then you realise that you're closer to the limit yeah, than you thought yeah, you yeah, were. Yeah, absolutely. Um, absolutely. And, and, and it's also a good part of it is getting used to the feel of the car as well. Yeah. Well, luckily you came away from that unscathed, and we can go on and try a bit more. Yeah, keep them crossed. Still Fingers trying to crossed. kill you, but... Thanks, mate. Got to tame it. Anyway, crack on, my man. Cheers. <laughs> Steve continued testing a variety of setups, ultimately honing the car to a more controllable state where he could carry more speed through the corners. We both absolutely loved the day, getting our first proper pit lane experience at a racetrack and getting a proper feel for what a test day is like. We hope you've enjoyed the video and please join us for part two where we'll find out how Steve gets on in qualifying and ultimately race day. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.